KD Plasma has a pretty annoying RAM usage issue. Not an over usage issue, but an under usage one. I'll explain what that means in just a moment. Before then, let's talk about the conditions and how you can work around it. So have you been in a situation where you've used a desktop effect like the alt tab, the tiling editor, the uh, window overview, the cube, and you've noticed your system completely locks up for a couple of seconds or briefly stutters as you're entering or leaving the effect, or possibly the same thing with going into the shutdown interface or just loading into Plasma. If so, you probably had the exact same issue I had. Apologies to the laptop users, this is only going to work if you have at least two drives. You can have more of them, we're only going to be interacting with two of them. Also, the drive we're moving a folder to should preferably be at least an SSD or faster. If you're moving from one mechanical drive to another, you'll see why in just a bit that's probably not going to fix anything. What we're going to do is take this folder right here, the .cache directory which lives in our home directory, and then move it onto another drive. In my case, I've moved it to my game drive, but any drive will work as long as that drive is an SSD or faster. Once the folder is moved off of your main drive, we're going to make a symlink. In my case, it's going to look like this, but obviously this path is going to be different depending on where you move it to. What we are doing is symlinking the new location of our cache folder back to our home directory so applications can still access the cache directory, but instead of reading and writing to our main drive, they are reading and writing to a separate drive that's preferably an SSD. If the symlink was successfully made, all of a sudden, all of those effects, which before were completely unusable, suddenly just work the way that most people expect them to work. Now, any of the developers out there, especially the game devs amongst you, might know exactly where I'm going with this, but I think it makes a lot of sense to give a visual demonstration. This is a system monitor called BTOP. Don't worry about most of what's going on. Just pay attention to this IO bar right here. This measures the reads and writes happening on a certain drive. I've moved the cache folder onto my game drive. If I go into the tiling editor and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, are you noticing a pattern happening here? Every time I go in and out, there is a blip on the IO usage. And not just the tiling editor. The cube does the exact same thing. The window view does the exact same thing. So you might be wondering then, Brody, what does this mean? What is this telling us? What this is telling us is that these desktop effects are not continuously loaded into RAM for easy and quick access whenever you want to use them. Instead, they are being loaded and unloaded every single time you try to use them. Where are they being loaded and unloaded from? The drive, specifically from that cache folder. Now, credit where credit is due, I basically just acted as a test machine for this. Most of this work was done by Richie, otherwise known as Acidic Light, and you can go find his video over on his channel. Be sure to go check that out. Also, Xavier Hugel of the KDE team, basically to explain how some of the KDE internals actually work. So we know it's constantly reading and writing from the drive. Why does that matter though? Well, when we are caching data, the general rule is to get it on the fastest memory as close as possible to the thing that is going to be using it. As a general rule, and there are some other things in between, so don't at me, or do if you want to. As a general rule, it goes CPU cache as the quickest, that being your L1, L2, and L3 cache. If it's a GPU task, get it onto the GPU memory, otherwise get it onto the system memory, but if it's something that can just be loaded and unloaded whenever you need to do so, putting it on the drive is going to be fine. But drive caching is going to be the slowest. Whilst this is also true for system memory, just at a much higher base speed, when we are dealing with drive caching, the range of speeds is quite high. And the bottom of that range is pretty low. For example, please, for the love of God, don't actually do this. But if your home drive existed on a tape drive, accessing that cache, doing reads and writes on that data would be really, really slow. But then you move that exact same data to an NVMe SSD. 
and all of a sudden, your reads, your writes are so much quicker, everything feels so much snappier, and it's actually a good experience then. Most people aren't running their home directory off the tape drive though, but they are sometimes using a mechanical drive. To make matters worse, it may not be a mechanical drive directly in your system. You might be booting off of a NAS that is full of mechanical drives. But something, even if you do have an SSD, that every single one of us are going to encounter from time to time is a busy drive. If you're writing a lot of data, you're rendering a 4K video, for example, that drive is going to be very, very busy and read and write operations are going to be slower. And herein lies the problem. Plasma is constantly pinging your drive as a cache instead of having these effects loaded into RAM whenever it needs to access them. This means if that cache exists on a busy or slow hard drive, that read and that write is obviously going to take longer to do. This leaves Plasma in a situation where it's waiting on data. This leaves Plasma locking up the entire desktop whilst it waits. In some cases for multiple seconds, in others it's just a minor stutter. So who remembers in my Plasma stream where I was constantly ranting about the fact that Plasma was lagging, Plasma was stuttering, Plasma was locking up? This bug is the reason why I was complaining about that. This bug is the cause of all of my problems. As soon as I moved the cache directory, all of them went away. And I have a feeling the reason my Plasma has this reputation of being lagging and stuttery is because of this bug. I'm sure there's other stutter bugs that exist and they have been dealt with in the past. But right now, this is the biggest one. And this also explains another situation I had where I would open up the tiling editor and it wouldn't open. It would just instantly close and I never saw it. It did open though, that's the thing but it read a second key press before I could visually see the tiling editor on the screen and it instantly closed. Again, another problem caused by this bug. One thing I'm not sure about is why this is causing the desktop to lock up in the first place. Obviously it's because of the read and write, but that should be happening on a separate thread. So the desktop should remain functional even if the effect isn't being loaded properly. If there's a KDE dev that can explain what's going on there, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Another thing I'm not sure about is how much of the Plasma infrastructure this actually affects. Initially, me and Richie thought it was just a couple of things like the tiling editor, overview, alt tab, but since then I discovered the cube, since then I discovered the shutdown interface, since then I discovered the just loading into Plasma. I know this is related to QT QML stuff. I don't know how much of the system is reliant upon that, and it's unclear to me whether this is an upstream toolkit issue or an issue with the way that Plasma is making use of it. Currently, there is an open bug report about this, bug 487043, extreme stutter slash hangs when using certain desktop effects when cache is on slow storage. Right now, we have the initial text from Richie, and then a reply from Richie adding additional information. That's pretty much all. Hopefully this video gets this issue some traction it desperately, desperately needs because in its current state, Plasma is basically unusable on a system with a mechanical drive or at least your home directory on a mechanical drive. This is completely distro independent and I haven't tested it, but I wouldn't be surprised if this also affects Plasma 5 as well. So if you've tried Plasma and thought, wow, why does anybody like this? This is really stuttery. This is constantly locking up. Try moving your cache directory onto an SSD. One last note, if your cache directory does exist on a mechanical hard drive and you've never experienced this problem, awesome, that's good for you. It doesn't change the fact, though, that this problem does get solved by moving the folder to something faster. So let me know. Have you experienced this problem in Plasma? And have you now tried moving the cache folder? If you have, let me know how that went for you because getting more data here is going to be absolutely useful. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of 
these amazing people over here. Check out the Patreon, subscribe, and Libero Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And before anyone asks, I have never seen this problem on GNOME, on Hyperland, on any other desktop.